this is round three of the Blitz event in the sport accord World Mind Games. Yeah, now we see here they're starting. It's Wang Hao from China playing the white pieces against Lemon Aronian from Armenia. Here we go. This is Blitz Chats, wi which means that each player has three minutes uh, for the whole game and they get two seconds extra uh, per move. So this is really, really fast chess. Yeah, as you can see, they're playing very quickly. Of course, it's an opening phase, so uh, they probably will know. No, no, they know well the lines. But they are playing something very aggressive here called the Budvinic system. So this is very interesting. I think, I think Aronian yeah, played this very played sharp game here. Uh. Aronian has played this recently with Black against uh, Vladimir Kramnik. But uh, yeah, Wang Hao is replying fine quickly as well. So now we can see that they both have more than three minutes now because of the increment. But probably soon they will start to think a bit well more. Well, I think Aronian already here. I think the normal move is G3. So A4 is probably a bit surprising for Aronian. He seems. What is he going to do? Bishop b7. Now Wang Hao can win uh, a pawn by taking on b5. Well, he's a pawn down in this position. So let's see. Yeah, he takes. And Aronian played rook 8 for attacking the pawn on d4. Very interesting move. Yeah, it's actually a very sharp game. I mean, uh, it's it's not really... It's not happening very often that the position is so aggressive already on the beginning. You can see Black's pieces are very sort of um, well developed and such. But... Um, his king might be a bit weak, but this was an interesting move. Now Aronian took the pawn on c4, and sorry, Wang Hao took, and now Aronian played c5. The idea is if he takes that with the the pawn on c5, then there is a bishop hanging on c4. Well, so black, actually, black pieces are really well coordinated. Yeah, here. b6, interesting. I think here we have some huge aggression from both sides. This game can be very, very sharp, and is already, and they have little, little, uh, and very limited time. So let's see how they handle these complications with so little time. I really don't know how to assess this position. I mean, there's so many tempting moves. You can take on g2, you can take on d4. Or just take on b6, like. Yeah, but, but then there will be some. He took, he took on d4. d4. I think now, probably it's gonna be queen to a4 check he's gonna play. But maybe he's just gonna go away, away with the king then. I don't know, but somehow I like uh, Aronian's Yeah, uh, I would prefer black position. Yeah, also, I, I, I think so here. Yeah. Also, ah, they're saying Wang Yu, it's actually Wang Hao who's playing here, but they're, they're both Chinese. Yeah, so we have a small he mistake he on the screen. He gave a check. Let's see. Aronian was playing Van Hao in the previous game. But they, they are both, finished with a draw. both very strong Chinese players, both players of the sort of, well, the Chinese national squad was one of the strongest in the world. But to be honest, I don't like Van Hao's uh, position here. Okay, Queen E2. Maybe it's not so bad. It's I mean possible it's to take the pawn on, on G2, maybe, but that it's could probably also be still very unclear, right? especially I, I, this, I agree, so I agree. Uh, here and uh, maybe you just take the pawn back on B6. But then White takes on A8 and do short castle. It's actually not clear at all. He took the pawn back here. Time-wise, they're doing pretty equal, both over a bit over two minutes. Nothing, nothing to worry about, I'll say. Oh, yeah. um, let's see. The material is also equal. Maybe you can say White's king is a bit bit safer, but Black is more centralized. I really think it's it's very equal. Well, actually, the bishop on b7 is eyeing the king side, so I would not say that the king is uh, more. S I, 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 I would he say he it's easier for White king to get under attack. Maybe you're right. Position, maybe you're right. So actually, uh, he has to play totally g3 unclear, now, uh, I guess. Yeah. Or can he play f4? Maybe. I think he's considering f4, but I think you can just yeah, take problem. it. No, he's gonna go g3. Yeah. <laughs> g3. What's the time? He spent a bit of time on that Wang Hao, yeah, so he's down to less than two minutes now. Yeah, they, they also changed the graphics for us, thanks a lot. So, Rook D2, interesting move. Let's see. How is he going to handle this? He took the Rook, wow. This is a Queen sacrifice. Now it's possible to take the Queen on E2. Then he's going to take the Knight on B8. So he just takes back. Okay, Queen to E1. And now if you take the Pawn on B2, there is the very strong move, Queen A1. But I don't know, maybe bishop f3 now could be a strong move. I still think black is better here. I, I no, <laughs> well, black and uh, I didn't think black was better before, but I think so now. So this position, I like Aronian's chances. But Aronian is extremely strong, but he's threatening the move. No, he's not threatening the move f4, sorry. So this is, yeah, I think it's a very difficult position. Okay, for black might is a bit undeveloped, so yeah, black he has to find a good has to move. do some improvements here. You can play move like knight c6, I think point, you're, doing, you're doing very well. Okay, now he's uh, down to one minute, and uh, yeah, no, Aronian is looking for some some way to you know finish off his opponent, but I don't see it actually. I don't think the situation is so bad for for Wang Hao after all, and especially with the clock ticking down.
What is he going to come up with? Queen f6. Very interesting. Wow. He wants to put the queen on f3. On the first side, it looks like but he just uh, uh, dropped the rook on d2, but this uh, could be a kill. This still. could be a killing move. No, queen e3, very strong defensive move. Maybe now queen d4 to force off the queen is a good way to play. Simply to maybe now it's possible to get to take the pawn on d2. Uh, queen f3, I think f3 even better. Actually, this is just well now he has to take because else he's going to be mated. Uh, and after take the pawn on b2 is weak. I think Aronian is. Oh, yeah, maybe you can like take and play the no moon. But here. you can take and play the moon knight a4. Actually attacking the pawn on b6. I think that's what, what how is going to do. Let's see. Yeah, he has to take the queen. Do you see right, anything? Yeah. Queen d5 check. Is that possible? Then you just move I'll the king. Take, take no, it takes. Probably Aronian can reply with rook d4. Putting rook to b4. The position is getting unclear again. Mm -hmm. Maybe you're right. But okay, rook blitz. But then you take the pawn on b6. Uh, rook b1. So he, wow, he chose the I passive thought, I way to do passive. Part, yeah. but, uh, well, I think now he has to bring out the knight to c6. Exactly. Probably he's going to take that. But this is pleasant for black. I think yeah, Aronian has, a, be really he has a dominant rook on d2. What is the time saying? Less than when one minute, but uh, well, 50 seconds for each. Not, not too bad, but still, still reasonable. Let's see. So now they will start to play really quickly soon because of mm -hmm. the time travels. So. G4, okay, yeah, well... He's creating some space for the king yeah, and, and also, he's also he's pushing his yeah. pawn on the queen. But b5, some somehow some the black space. pawns. Now he's threatening b4 followed by bishop e4. Wow. I don't know. Maybe there's a strong move rook d4 in this position, attacking the pawn on, on g4 and on b4. I don't like this one bit. Actually, attacking on b4 should be enough. Rook b4, rook c2 and well... That's maybe even stronger. Could be a killer, I think he killer. can't recapture on before now. Wow, so but if he can't capture on before, he's he's losing. So let's say so, so rook c2. Oh, he's got knight e4. Okay, I probably missed ah. this. Move. No, rook d3. Uh -huh. Interesting. But knight e4, you give a check and you play f5. You win a piece. Yeah, it looks like Van Kao just uh, yeah, I think just Van missed Kao something. So could be basically lost in this position. The problem is that if he moves the knight, and then you can see on the screen that he's not satisfied with and his last move. His time is clicking down. He probably down. just realized that he's losing. So. Let's see, what is he going to do? Knight e4. Well now, check. Yes, king d2 and f5, winning a piece. Very strong play by the Armenian player. I so Aron is easily winning he's now. He's easily I winning think, now. Yeah. No, this so I think Aron has played very well in this game. I mean, he played a complicated yeah, opening so and he gave his side. Impressive win by, by Aronian here and I think well, Aronian is one of the favorites and especially after this game he's, he's doing well. So this was game 3 of uh, the Blitz tournament, we have 27 rounds to go and we will be back for round 4 oh shortly. Four, yeah. Thank you. Thank you.